Hello and welcome to the Drive Image Technical Training Course. You can start and stop the videos at any time and you can go along in any order or at your own pace. Throughout the course we're going to familiarize you with some of the basic concepts of Drive Image. We'll also create some sample workflows, or scan profiles, and also go through some of the basic troubleshooting steps. If it's helpful, you can go ahead and download Drive Image and install and go along with the setup uh, while you watch the videos, which is something that we recommend. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is go to drive.com and create an account. This account will be used to create sport tickets, also to get the download information, and to look up uh, FAQs on the website. So if you go to the download section of the website after logging in, um, you can go ahead and grab the proper edition here. Um, if you have more than one type of device that you'll be connecting, you can go ahead and save the generic edition here, which will allow you to use all devices. If you're going to send this setup to a customer, you can right-click and copy the link and send that to them. Um, when they download it, it will not require them to log in, so they can do an anonymous download of the software. If you're not familiar with Drive, uh, we have three main products, Drive Image, Drive Print, and Drive DM. Drive Image is a scanning middleware application that can run either as a hot folder version or as an embedded application on a lot of different MFPs and scanners. Um, the first most important thing to know when you're installing Drive Image is the server requirements. Uh, there's nothing too specific or special here. Um, just you know, have storage space, things like that. Um, you can always go to the support and services section of the website uh, for this specific FAQ. Um, one thing that's important to note is that small business server is not recommended um, and officially not supported. Uh, another important thing to do when setting up Drive Image is to take a look at the image processing guidelines. Uh, we'll go through this a little bit later, but based off the type of scanning workflow you're setting up, you're going to want to have a faster server. Uh, for instance, if you're doing a lot of image processing and OCR, uh, that's going to take up a lot of the CPU resources. So you're going to want to increase that based off what you're actually using the software for. So an important thing to understand when installing Drive Image is the framework that's actually running behind the scenes here. Um, there really are two main services that make up the core of Drive Image. We have the IAS or the WWW Publishing Service, which in most cases means the website that actually shows up at the device panel. Um, it can also be the web service framework that communicates with a local application on the device in the case of some Java-based platforms. Um, this service is also going to be what connects to third-party systems and what allows you to, for instance, browse SharePoint at the device. So any sort of web service or connection that's being made, it's going to happen here uh, with the IIS or the web, web service. The second service that gets installed is the actual Windows service, which handles the processing of the files and does all the um, image processing, file delivery, uh, anything that has to do with uh, the server itself. Um, is going to be run by this Windows service. So often when you run into permission errors, uh, it has to do with the rights or the permissions of the Windows service. 